keeps it going longer. I sure I know what the hell I'm doing. Ow! 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It looks like alien landscape. Howdy, Whale, Russ here. And Chris. And Chris dyed his beard. <laughs> Can, Can you, you tell that I actually have color and I don't look like a snowman? You look, honestly, you look 30 now. Really? 39. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should subscribe to our channel. And if you watch our videos and you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you're new, subscribe. Yeah. So today we are going to do a bunch of little kind of science weird experiments. Science experiments. They're all science experiments. Most of them you can do at your house. Some of them might be dangerous, so don't do it without like adult supervision. Which one are we doing first? Let's do the hand sanitizer. Oh, that way we're totally burned and fried uh -huh. and like have flesh falling off of our bodies to do the rest of the experiments. That's brilliant. So let's do it. This hand sanitizer, we're gonna put some on the pan. <clears throat> we're gonna light it. You can light it on fire, there it is. Oh, you can see it on your hand. Ah, your hand that was is glowing. That was getting a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. That's too much! What if your beard caught on fire? That would suck. Your freshly dyed okay. beard. Do like a whole handful. Oh. Yep. Ow! That burned. <laughs> ah, that was hair burning. Ooh, yeah, I smell it. Do not do this without adult supervision. Let's see if I can light you. Oh, you lit me! Light me again. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> it starts getting warm. Ugh. Ow! That one burnt me. me. That one burnt me. Ouch! It's pretty cool though. It's cool. So now let's go do the candle in the traveling flame. Okay. Traveling flame. And I think what happens is you put out the candle, you hold the flame above it, and the flame jumps down. I guess it's, there's enough carbon in the smoke that it's following it down. Alright, we'll turn off the light. See how much higher we can go. Yeah. Oh my god, that's cool. It works. So for this experiment, we have a regular balloon. With air in it, just air, no and helium. A water balloon. Apparently the one without water will pop in the flame, and this one will not. Which is weird because you would think that the plastic would melt no matter what, right? Because it's think. plastic and heat. You're gonna have to try it. You're gonna have okay. to pop it, hold it over there. All right. I'm <laughs> it popped! Yeah, you're gonna do the water one because that thing just popped. That one's gonna explode on us but with water. Alright, apparently this one, will, it'll get like dark, like a, a dark streak, but it won't pop. Supposedly. Okay, you say so. Look, it already is not. How long does it get, heck, how long can you do that? Dang! It's not popping. It's like right in the flame. Weird. Did you expect that? No. I mean, you would still think that the plastic would melt and it would just pop. You would think so. It's just turning black. Weird. Pop! Oh. <laughs> bad. If you're into physics, tell us why this does this. <laughs> I guess we're done. This is not gonna pop. Pop! Nothing gets you. You made me so mad. You never jump. Alrighty, so what's next? Oh, oh, this is like gonna be the coolest one. What? Which one? All right, now we're doing the, what is it called, the snake? The brown snake? Black snake. So we have uh, 40 grams of sugar, and we have 10 grams of baking soda. You're supposed to mix them together. So it's a four to one mixture, whatever. And then uh, we have a bowl full of sand. Our sand was actually wet, and Chris took the time to dry it out in the oven. And what we gotta do is take some of that Zippo fluid, which is lighter fluid, and you have to saturate the sand. So the whole thing. It looked pretty wet. It didn't tell you the exact amount. So, Since we only have one time, should we put more lighter fluid to make it work or just go with it? I don't know. I'll be happy to put more. So this is supposed to take about 20 minutes for it to actually work. Well, the folks we were watching, they were doing it in their kitchen and they kept pouring water on. They, they were, were afraid, scared. They were afraid they were going to like burn their house down, I think. Oh! but it's coming out slowly like a turd, right? <laughs> so that's how they come out is slowly. Well, you're supposed to make your turds go out slow and not too fast. And if they're too fast, they're either too loose or you're pushing too hard.
It looks like some alien landscape feature. That's cool. All right, so this is called Jet Engine in a Jar. And basically what you need is a jar. You need a hole poked in the top of the lid. One centimeter then, hole. One centimeter. And then you need just a little bit of alcohol. We have 70%. Uh, it's probably better to get higher percentage than that. Just a little bit. I'll try just a little bit. You need these safety glasses, cause this might break. You're supposed to get like somehow like air in there somehow. So we're not having much success with this experiment yet. We made the hole bigger, but our drill does not make a round hole. I don't know if that can make the difference or just the size of the hole, or if our fuel, which is 70% alcohol, is not good enough fuel. It said that you might need to like squirt some air in there, so I was gonna capture air in a bag and like hopefully see if I could squirt some in there with a little hole. So I guess we need to find out what's wrong. Is it our elevation here right at under 5,000 feet? Is it the fact that our hole is not perfectly symmetrical? Or it's the fuel, and I'm guessing it's partly to do with the fuel. The alcohol we have is 70%. All righty, so this is a new day. <laughs> a new, new night. night. <laughs> a new night. We tried this yesterday with alcohol that was like 70%. This one's 91%. We're hoping this like keeps it going longer. Hope it works. I sound very smart, don't I? It keeps it going longer. It keeps it going longer. I, I sure know what the hell I'm doing. Doing. I hope it goes longer. This is a fun video though. Probably about that. Get ready. Let the letter. It starts to do it. I'm gonna go get something bigger to make that hole bigger. Is that okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Come on, bitch. Uh, oh, oh. It started, it's needing more air. That was working. Bigger hole, bigger hole. Let's see if I have a key that has a water point on it. This is gonna work. Hey, it's going, it's doing it. Hey, we got it. <laughs> yeah, Our we got hole it. wasn't big enough. Ah, okay. We did it, we did it. Awesome. You gotta have a big enough hole. <laughs> Hopefully this is great. Though. That was like one of the best ones. We're done. All right, no longer need these. You have some marks. I have marks, you have marks. I do too. Yep. <laughs> yeah, please don't try this at home. <laughs> and if you do, seriously take precautions and know what you're doing. Either way, what was your favorite experiment? What was my favorite experiment? The snake or the turd? <laughs> The snake turd or the uh, the jet engine in the jar. The jet engine in the jar was more difficult. And so when we got it to do it for a little bit of a sustained time, that was really cool. It was more exciting. Yeah. That was actually my favorite. Because you were kind of worried it was going to blow up. You guys should definitely like this video and subscribe to our channel, please. Click that little button. <laughs> Where, are we that little right? button. Where are we going to put it? Right there. Here. There. Click right. the little button. For us. And Chris. Love, Love you a long time. time.